the Brain Master Atlantis 1 modules on COM2. From there, I will close the Device Manager window. I will close the System Properties window. Then close the Control Panel window. From there, we're going to open our Brain Master 2.5 software. So we go towards our icon, which says Brain Master 2.5. Notice an icon or a shortcut should always have an arrow. If you don't see this arrow and it's a solid icon, it's quite possible that you've installed the .exe file directly on your desktop, and that wouldn't be appropriate. That would be problematic in running your software. So let's make sure always that we have the little arrow. As I double-click this icon, we notice that our setup home screen for 2.5 SE appears, and it's along our top title bar. Okay. We notice that the trainee ID opens as test or standard test study. Yours may open with the client that you've used last. What we want to do, it regardless of the folder that you're in, we're going to go ahead and go to viewer change settings, then up to data channels. Within the data channels window, we'll notice that towards the bottom we see a COM port select. In our previous exercise, we realized that the Atlantis was located on COM2, so we're going to go ahead and swipe over the number 4, use our keyboard and type 2. We then simply slide down to the OK button. We must hit the OK to save the change. Our next step is to go to the Use These Settings button. Again, this ensures the, the change is saved. When we go to Run the next session, we can also verify that the change has been made by going up to the word Data in the upper left-hand corner. As I click the word Data, we notice we have a check mark on Usecom2. For some reason, if you're change did not save, you could then also change the COM from this area. As long as our COM port and device manager and in the Brain Master software match, we're ready to go. We then simply hit go. Now we get the notice ready to start. That concludes this segment. Thank you very much.